So I'm having a style crisis. Hi, my name is Lindsay Ann, and these days I've been getting bored of my outfits and I wanna try spice things up again. So I decided to try out six different aesthetics this week to see if I can find a new style. Without further ado, here is the first aesthetic. I get defensive and it's Monday, and the first aesthetic that we're gonna try out today is the Korean aesthetic. And I know that that is a very much a broad generalization of a entire country style, but I'm thinking more like K-drama main character type of style. And in terms of K-drama girls, we're not talking about like Ko Moon Young's iconic Grammy level outfits. We're talking more about like Nabi level, like your everyday next door neighbor type of girl. So I'm looking on Pinterest right now. I just searched up Korean fashion and I'm seeing a lot of neutral colors, a lot of whites, creams, a little bit of pastels here and there. There's a lot of like blouses, maybe sweater vests, especially like high-waisted trousers and jeans. But before we put on the actual clothes, we're gonna try to do our makeup to fit Korean beauty standards and see how that goes. So first things first, we're definitely gonna start off with the last straighter brows. It's definitely a lot more popular in Asian countries especially to have straighter brows with like minimal to no arch. Kind of like that, I think. And then for eyeliner, we're going to do like a very small cat eye. That doesn't really flick up, but more just like flicks out. And then for lips, we're gonna do a lip tint. This is actually from Yes Style, and we're gonna do that thing where they only like put it in the middle and kind of like blend it out. I look really pale right now, which I guess adds to the Korean beauty standard. But I don't know, I think it's simple. I usually don't wear any color on my lips, so it's kind of interesting. But you know, let's just put on the outfit and see how the entire look goes. We have a lot of options right now, but I feel like the basis of this like Korean aesthetic is just simplicity. So we're just starting off with our base, which is just a white t-shirt. Very wrinkly, in fact. We're just gonna top it off with some white sandals, okay? Okay, so this person in a K-drama, she wouldn't be the main character, okay? But she would be like the cool, maybe an aunt figure or like the best friend figure who has like just like a very successful, maybe she has her own love interest as well, right? But she's, the, this person just has her life too much together to be the main character. Okay, this is the next look. Very simple. We just did a simple switch. We switched out the blazer for this cardigan. And I already feel like this is like a lot more like girl next door. Like she would be the main character. We're gonna switch out these heels for just some basic converse. And there you go. This girl is definitely the main character. Everyone low-key hates her because she makes really stupid decisions and chooses the wrong guy. And this is the last combo that we have. This girl. She, I like her. I really like this trench coat. Honestly, basically everything I'm wearing is from my sister's closet. So it's not mine, but you know, I feel like she is like, she's mysterious. She got a trench coat going on, but she knows what she wants. She just has a cute bag. She's a working woman, okay? She doesn't have time to be involved in a love triangle. Yeah, she still is. Ma'am, what are you doing? And I actually really like these aesthetics but I feel like it might just be a little bit too like innocent for me like maybe too mature I feel like I'm still going through my like rebellious teenage phase overall I think I would rate this aesthetic like an 8 out of 10 I really like it but I just don't know how many times I would turn to it like it just doesn't really feel like me it feels like my sister <laughs> not me this aesthetic feels like the oldest sibling <laughs> type aesthetic, if that makes sense. So the next style that we're gonna try is kind of like the street style, almost like tomboy type of look. And I already know, like I already have the fit that I want to put in mind. I feel like this type of aesthetic is really just one type of outfit, which is like an oversized graphic tee or sweatshirt, baggy jeans, you know, you got, you got your Jordans, maybe a beanie or a hat or something. Okay, so I got the basics of the outfit, right? We have an uh, oversized graphic tee, some baggy jeans, got my dunks on, and now it's time for accessorizing because I feel like accessorizing is what really pulls in this sporty, street-style, baddie look together. 
question mark we are going to go in with some hoops okay so we definitely did not go light on the jewelry we got a bunch of chains rings bracelets a bag and i feel like we're pretty much bodying this aesthetic you know i think i would probably rate this myself a 6 out of 10 just because it's not very my vibe like i don't like this many accessories i just feel like it like the baggy look just doesn't really fit well on me because it just emphasizes the fact that i have no shape and i'm just a noodle also i feel like i look too intimidating you know like this is a big shift from our cutesy korean girl aesthetic i would be scared to come and talk to me i'm just i'm scary what can i say boo let's go ask my grandma what she thinks one one tea <laughs> okay, let's talk about dark academia. So I already tried one of these aesthetics in my previous aesthetics videos, but I feel like we could level up, you know, because I feel like I didn't really put my full effort into this aesthetic. But today we're going, we have a wide range of dark academia-ish clothes. I just looked through my mom and my dad's closets and I found some like coats, sweaters, things to try. But I feel like this aesthetic is very much fall and winter centered. Like, like I just can't think of any summer outfits outfits with this so i will be sweating for you guys so you guys can see these dark academia aesthetics okay this is the first outfit and i'm getting like light academia vibes from this we are going to recycle this trench coat that we used for the korean aesthetic and you know i feel like sherlock holmes i feel like shirley holmes i'm just wearing this like white turtleneck and some like pants with of course my docks and you know, I feel like this is a fit. Like, I'm ready to go solve some crime. On me, I would rate it like a six out of 10, but I feel like the aesthetic, I would rate it like an eight out of 10. Because it's just, in terms of trying to find a new style, I just don't think this is it. Okay, I think I got it. I think this is the aesthetic. I think I embodied it pretty well. Out of the back for me. But ignore the fact that I am sweating all of the pits out through my skin right now. I'm wearing this turtleneck, this brown cashmere sweater that my dad had, and some gray dickies with my docks. I paired the backpack because I feel like, you know, academia, studying. Wait, let me get some books. This is such a look. Oh my god. I feel like I'm going to Hogwarts today. Or going to Oxford. I can't stop looking at myself. I feel so studious. How I'm a road scholar. I think I would rate this like a 9 out of 10. I actually really like this outfit. But I don't think I would wear it though. I also just put on this coat and I feel like I'm literally like a wizard. I feel like I'm in Hogwarts. This is like a cloak. Like literally, platform 9 and 3 quarters. I'll be there. I really feel like I'm in Hogwarts. Like, hello? So, so far we have tried out a wide range of aesthetics, but now we're gonna go back to like the model off duty where we got like Kendall Jenner, Bella Hadid, this type of aesthetic because this is definitely like the type of style that I already gravitate towards. It's simple yet really, really chic and stylish. We're just gonna see how, how like bad and bougie we can be and look classy at the same time. <laughs> I don't think I have a mullet right now. Like the model off duty style is very, very simple. They like to make like fancy things look casual and have more of like a street style look to it. Where's embodying confidence, you know? I feel like that's really just like what this whole aesthetic is about. They know that they look good. They're literally being paid to look good. So we just gotta be in that mindset. Okay, but I am actually loving this outfit. I feel hot in this, okay? So I'm just wearing this like white tank top. It has a bit of frill around it. And I feel like for like the model off duty look, it's really about simple yet like statement accessories. 
it's like it's all about like the whole thing on the internet where everyone's talking about how like Kendall Jenner just looks clean. We're embodying like a clean energy today, okay? So I got some statement like Sola glasses, put up my hair, got this cute bag on. Nothing too flashy here, but just like the little things. Like I got this like open flap <laughs> of the Dickies trousers. See, the trousers really mix work and play. Okay, because it seems like that I'm going to like like a business brunch, right? But no, I'm actually gonna go shopping. I'm feeling spicy, okay? I would rate this immediately a 10 out of 10. So today we're going to be doing our new aesthetic cottage core. So I did this aesthetic before, but it just didn't turn out that well because I didn't have the materials I needed in my life, my wardrobe. But now I think I do. So I want to recreate this look. I'm gonna make myself a little picnic outside, enjoy this cottage core moment, and we will see how everything goes. But first, let me just first do like some natural makeup. Anyways, let me show you the pieces that I have. I wore this in one of my Instagram pictures and it's so pretty. It's like this dress that has these pink flowers all over it. And it's so silky and it's just like a very much a cottage core dress. But we're going to level up the outfit by try attempting to layer a white button down underneath. I see a lot of cottage core outfits with white button downs and maybe just like elevate the outfit to the next level. We'll see how it works though. So this is how the outfit looks, but I'm not sure if I like it. I feel like the white button down kind of just like distracts from the entire outfit. I kind of feel like a school teacher that has an apron on. You know, like I lose my waist. I lose everything that's like beautiful about this dress. But I think it was a nice thought. Like theoretically, it would work okay. But right now, I just literally just feel like I'm wearing an apron. So I think I'm gonna take this off and just wear the dress. So this is the dress. I am in front of my grandma's tomato plant. But, you know, I think that this dress just works as a dress. For the cottage core aesthetic, we have some rings. I also have this necklace that I got, I think at like an estate sale or something. I think it's very much like luxury cottage core vibes. And I don't know, what am I supposed to do right now? I'm supposed to just like dance in the garden. <laughs> Okay, I would probably rate this aesthetic like, honestly, 10 out of 10. But I feel like it's just not very practical for everyday use. Like I won't be wearing this dress going to my chem class, you know. It's like a fantasy that you can dive into, but it's not necessarily a practical get out of bed outfit. We're going for English professor vibes. That is the next aesthetic, okay? And I'm kind of loving this outfit, like not gonna lie, I feel powerful, but I feel playful, you know, I feel like dominant, intellectual, I also feel like witty. I will never be able to become this English professor aesthetic, but I personally am gonna rate this aesthetic out of 11 out of 10. I low-key feel like a clown because the colors are just so out there, but you know, I'm loving it. Like, I love McDonald's. <laughs> We're professional, we have a collar, we have some long sleeves, these trousers, ugh. And I would pair with some Prada loafers, so these Ivy League kids know I'm bougie as fuck. Yeah, I would be a professor at an Ivy League. Don't question it. So now that we have tried out all the aesthetics, my top two options are to either become a quirky English professor or a maiden that lives in a shed. So let me know what your favorite aesthetic was down in the comments. I would love to hear what you all thought, but I hope that you enjoy this video and as always, see you next time. Bye.